Kind of, it's pretty obvious to me. So anyway, let's, let's go back through another uh, cage. Well, it's okay, we can take that away if you need. So if I have, going back to what we last talked about, if I do x plus x, we know that answer now is going to be x squared 2. Oh, guys, remember we already talked about this. x times x equals x squared, right? So what is going to be x plus x would equal 2x, right? OK, so what I want to do, and I just re that's why we did the 5x. Remember, 5x plus 3x equals 8x. You add the coefficients, which is 1 plus 1, but the x remains the same. It is not the same as multiplication. The reason why I'm going to tell you guys this is because what if I said the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2? What I want you guys to do, and we're adding and subtracting square roots of numbers. Do we know what the square root of 2 is? No. So when I add the square, do we know what x is? No. So when I'm adding up these terms, the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 is going to equal 2 square roots of 2, just like it would be with the x's. Yes? You said we don't know what x is. I thought x is 1. No, we don't. x could be an x represents any number. Uh, so we but not. use it as 1 right there? My, no. This, what if I did? 2x plus 3x, right? Five equals 5x. 1 is the coefficient. Okay. Now, real quick to go through this, what if I said the square root of 2 times the square root of 2? You multiply these numbers, which is the square root of 4, which we now know is 2. But notice, ladies and gentlemen, there is a difference. All right. Now, does everybody kind of understand this? Yeah. You add a square root plus another square root. They have to be exactly the same, though. So say you were to do. Square root of 3 plus square root of 2, it wouldn't be 3 out It would be like me trying to do this. What's x plus y? Mm -hmm. Can't do that. Can't do it, right? So it's the exact same thing. What is the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2? You can't combine them. They don't have the same factor. So therefore, we just leave it as is. Exactly. You could do 2 and 4. You could add the square root of 4 plus square root of 2. No, because if I did the square root of 4 plus the square root of 2, this is simplified to 2 plus square root of 2. Right? OK, so now let's get to a problem. How does that sound? Yeah. So finally, some problems, right? So that was pretty much all you.